Hey everyone, this question comes from Stephanie in Georgia. She was asking me my thoughts about her purchasing a long sleeve versus sleeveless wetsuit. To start with is I'm definitely not the expert on wetsuits. Um, although I have been training and racing for 25 years, I prefer not to wear a wetsuit in open water. And the only reason I do is for war to stay warm. So the two major benefits of a wetsuit, number one is to keep your body warm. Number two provides a lots of buoyancy and safety. So temperature of the water will depend on if the wetsuit is race legal or not. In a World Triathlon Corporation event, if the water temperature is above 76.1 degrees, wetsuits are not legal. What that means is if you choose to wear one, you will not be eligible for any prizes or any type of qualification slots. So even though it's you know, noted not legal above 76.1 degrees, um, you can still wear one because the, the safety benefits are definitely concerned in all races. And I believe in a USA Triathlon event, the legal temperature is below 78 degrees. And because you live in Georgia, I highly doubt you're going to need a long sleeve wetsuit unless you plan to race out of state in early spring or late fall. You may, you may want to invest in a long sleeve wetsuit, but I would definitely recommend the sleeveless one. Um, cause I think that'll keep you plenty warm and obviously it'll provide plenty of buoyancy from what I know is those extra sleeves, um, don't necessarily provide any more buoyancy than what you would get from a sleeveless wetsuit. As far as sizing goes, I think most brands are true to size fit. And so, um, with my experience, I've, I've, you know, in 25 years, I've probably tried about four or five different brands and I have my favorite due to, I just think it fits me more comfortable and I think it's more true to size, but you would definitely want to, um, talk to the brand company, go online. Lots of them have friendly online chats. They'll help support you and determine what size is best for you. Now, they are going to be a little bit restricting in the chest due to you're just not used to it. Um, but if you do swim a few times and it's still restricting in the chest, it's probably too small. Or, you know, if you do decide to get the long sleeve and you're feeling restricted with your arm movements and your, due to your stroke mechanics, you probably want to, you know, get rid of it and go with the sleeveless one. But again, no matter what you decide to do, make sure you practice in open water before your first event, if possible. If not, then um, practice in a pool. You know, you're not gonna you're not gonna kill the wetsuit with the chlorine if you swim a couple times in the pool just to get used to it. But you may overheat. Someone like me, I wouldn't. But some people who try to practice in a wetsuit in a pool may tend to overeat. So, just something to keep in mind. Again, a great question. If you have any more, please um, shoot me an email. Go to speakpike.com slash endurance hour. Leave me a voicemail and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Make it a great day.